The following presentation, I'm going to show you how to add a contact to an existing company, create a lead, and start a project. I got a contact from one of our existing customers, with the, which is this Chun Kerr, Dodd. And I want to create a lead, but the contact that I want to create the lead in the project off of, off of is not in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from uh, the company location and actions and add a new contact. The new contact window opens. And now I'm actually, I have an email. So I'm going to pop this out. If you notice, I clicked on this to pop it out of eManage. And I click this other button, and that means this window is going to stay on top of any other window I have open. So I have this email here, and I want to just transfer this information over to this to this person uh, in Team Manage. And so I will type their information, and I can actually copy and paste a lot of this information. This is their direct number, and our email address and everything that has a star is required but um, if you have all the information you want to fill as much information as you can in here um, by default it has place on remove mailing list so it's placed on mailing list I want to uh, sync this contact with my outlook so I'll do that and uh, basically, I don't have any other information here. So I can uh, actually pop this back into eManage, and I can save it. Now, once I save the contact, now I could go to Actions, and I can uh, start a new project from this with this contact. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start a lead. I'm going to create a lead. Rather than just creating a project, I want to attach this to um, a marketing campaign. So I'm going to create this lead. It's a current salesperson. It is actually Tiffany. Probability, 75, 5 lead type. Right now they're in specifying and budgeting. Priority, it's going to be hot. The campaign, so this is that campaign I was talking to you about that I wanted to attach it to. So this is a lead that came from the A&D uh, community and referred by, um, I will type the person that it came from, uh, decision date, I don't have anything yet. I'm going to kind of bump this out to maybe, say, late September. And currently they're interested in... Uh, moving their space saver system and looking at new office furniture. Okay, so what I could do here is I could just save this and it will create a lead down in this leads tab. Uh, it will show up in Tiffany's leads because she's the salesperson and me as the manager. I can see uh, the leads for everybody I manage. Um, but actually, this is a project that we're working on, so I'm just going to save and start a project. So it automatically opens up my uh, project window, and I am going to create a project. Um, office move and division system center. Project type, so we have a new project type. Status is uh, new project start. Probability, 75, the manager to be determined. Here's an estimated decision date. Here's my lead, what I had. And uh, at this point, I will save that. And I will, I'm going to change this to Tiffany. It changed it to uh, my name because I was creating a project. Now, one, uh, on this project, I can set Tiffany as the primary salesperson any time a, uh, a project is created off of this. It will automatically apply her to it. Um, here's that um, contact. 
and the contact night uh, type is she is the end user and I'm going to say she's part of the decision committee and that way everybody in our office knows who she is so currently I don't have uh, any other information for this um, a next touch type is to do uh, uh, to schedule an appointment and I want to set that for tomorrow and what this will do is this uh, setting this it will show up on Tiffany's calendar as uh, an appointment uh, or to to schedule an appointment so sales stage here I'm going to set that to in progress and uh, I'll save this okay so there we there we have it I created a new contact so now if I uh, if I search for this company and I view contacts now Laura is in there I added her and I created um, a lead and converted that immediately into a project and I'll show you what that did if I go into my configure tools and configure marketing campaigns under my folder here I could go down to A and D and you can see that leads generated and leads the project well one of these is that project so right here there it is so now I'm keeping track of all the leads I'm getting from the A and D community and then I can also see that it was referred by so I can see who uh, uh, refer that lead to me. So that was a short little example of how to how to do that. And uh, goodbye.